Hi guys, I'm Raccoon. The anime recap I'm going to share today is Wise Man's Grandchild. Our male protagonist Shin is definitely an outrageous anime character in history. At the age of 8, he can kill wild boars. At the age of 10, he can kill a giant bear twice as tall as he is in one move. And at the age of 15, he can make a nuclear bomb. His abilities stun the super powerful adults around him. When he grows up he becomes the strongest hero and wins the love of beautiful girls all over the world. The reason Shin can stand at the prime of life begins with his reincarnation journey. Shin was once an ordinary earthling, and after an accident, he was reincarnated into another world and adopted by the legendary sage Merlin. Merlin is the strongest magician in the world, and he raises Shin as his grandson and teaches him all kinds of magic. Shin is very gifted with magic and masters powerful magic at a very young age. Not only that, Shin has scientific knowledge from the earth, which he finds to be very effective in enhancing magic, so his magic is very powerful. At the age of 10, Shin is able to easily kill large monsters. In this world, 15 years old is considered adulthood. Shin needs to enter the magic academy to study professionally, when he learns that the grandfather who raises him is the most powerful magician in the world. Before enrolling, he shows his magic to the king and the teachers of the magic academy. People in this world don't know what hydrogen and oxygen are, but Shin knows to use this chemical knowledge to enhance fire magic. Therefore, he casts extremely powerful fire magic. The king thinks Shin is too powerful and the magic academy has no way to teach him more. However, since Shin grows up in the forest and still lacks common sense, he suggests that Shin enter the magic academy, so Shin's grandparents send him to the kingdom's capital. His grandparents are the most famous magicians, so they are welcomed by many people, and Shin learns that they used to be the heroes who saved the kingdom. On Shin's first day in the capital, he encounters an accident. Several hooligans abuse two beautiful girls. Shin easily defeats the hooligans, saves the two girls, and falls in love with a blue-haired girl Sicily at first sight. Both two girls are students about to take the exam for the magic academy. But students are not allowed to use magic to attack others, so they are abused by hooligans. Shin then goes to take the exam for the magic academy. Outside the academy, a nobleman named Kurt treats Shin as a commoner and not only despises him but even attacks him. Shin easily defeats Kurt. Kurt angrily reveals his nobility, only to be stopped by another man. Because this person's status is nobler, he is the prince of the kingdom. Shin treats all people equally, so he has no fear for the prince. The prince is happy, because of his status in a royal family. Everyone fears him, and he has never had equal friends. He and Shin become good friends later. In subsequent exams, other candidates demonstrate their magic. They are successful if they hit the target with magic. But Shin is different, he has tried his best to reduce the power of the magic, but still blows up the target. Shin undoubtedly enters the Magic Academy in the first place. The Magic Academy's uniform has some abilities enchanted, but Shin doesn't think they're strong enough. He clears the original enchantment and re-enchants it with more powerful magical immunity, attack resistance, and healing abilities. After that, Shin will give the opening speech as a representative of the new students. After the speech, Sicily suddenly asks Shin for help, and it turns out that Sicily has been pestered by a man. She once refused the other party's marriage proposal, but the man still does not want to give up and use his power to force Sicily to agree to the marriage proposal. Coincidentally, this man is Kurt, who was beaten by Shin before. Kurt tries to use his power to force Sicily to agree to the marriage proposal, but this time the prince intervenes to stop him. Shin later helps the other students re-enchant their school uniforms, and offers to pick Sicily up at her house every day to prevent Kurt from retaliating against Sicily. Sicily is afraid that this would make Shin too tired, so Shin shows off his portal magic, a brand new magic invented by him, and everyone is shocked by Shin's genius. When Kurt returns home, he is harshly castigated by his father, and because of Kurt's evil deeds, the prince severely reprimanded Kurt's family. Kurt seems so furious that even Kurt's father is frightened because Kurt isn't such a violent person. The next day, all the classmates learn that Kurt has been suspended from school by his family. Some classmates who have known Kurt for a long time also point out that Kurt is not the despicable person he is now. All these changes happen after Kurt learns from a magician named Strom. Strom is a magician who has fled from another country. He seems blind, but his magic is powerful. Kurt's family trusts him. However, Strom is not a good person, and he is the reason Kurt has become cranky. Strom learns that Kurt has been expelled from school and uses magic to drive him into madness. The mad Kurt suddenly attacks Shin. Shin blocks Kurt's attack with a magic barrier in time, and then he is surprised to find Kurt's eyes turn red, a characteristic of Demonoid. Demonoid is a monster that transformed from the magician after the magician's mana is out of control, and a demonoid has the ability to destroy a city. Shin's grandfather once defeated a demonoid and thus became a hero of the nation. This time Shin is also going to fight demonoid. But unlike Shin's imagination, Kurt, while powerful, cannot destroy a city. Shin uses vibration magic to make the sword produce chainsaw-like destructive power, killing him easily. After this, Shin becomes the hero who kills demonoid. Generally, only high-level magicians who lose control become demonoid. Kurt is just a normal student, but he becomes demonoid. Shin blames himself for killing, but he has no choice. 
For defeating Demonoid, Shin becomes a nationally famous hero and the dream lover of all girls. After returning to the Magic Academy, all the students also want to join the same research group as Shin. And finally, the teacher has to arrange a test to select students for Shin's group. Eleven people eventually pass the test and become members of Shin's group. One of the team members is from a family of blacksmiths, and Shin happens to want to forge a new sword. Shin uses vibration magic to strengthen the blade, and although it is very destructive, the weapon is also easy to be worn. After discussion, the group members propose a plan to replace the blade of the sword and plan to go to the blacksmith teammate's house for a test. Meanwhile, the kingdom sends people to arrest Strom, who they suspect is the cause of Kurt's transformation into demonoid. Strom does not defend himself, admits the incident directly, and then launches an attack on the kingdom's army. Shin hears the noise and rushes to the scene as well. Knowing that Strom is behind Kurt becoming demonoid, he angrily attacks Strom. Unlike Kurt, who was built synthetic demonoid, Strom is a real demonoid. Strom is not afraid of Shin's magic, and he is very confident that he can defeat Shin. However, Shin's initial magic is only a disguise, and his real attack magic is actually in the sky. As a flash of light fell, Strom disappears instantly. Everyone thinks Strom is killed by Shin, but Shin doesn't think Strom is dead. Shin is right, Strom has teleported himself to another place at the last minute. Later, according to the original plan, Shin goes to the blacksmith shop of the group member. The owner of the smithy sees the prince and Shin the new hero who kills Demonoid, and immediately says that he will make the best weapon possible. After leaving the smithy, Shin offers to buy some trinkets, such as rings and the like. When Sicily hears the ring, she suddenly feels a little excited. But Shin doesn't intend to confess love with the trinkets, he just wants to enchant the trinkets to prevent another attack by Strom. But even so, Sicily is very happy. Shin picks out a ring for her and helps Sicily put it on. Since Shin has defeated Demonoid twice, he is given a medal symbolizing the highest glory by the king. The king introduces Shin to everyone as the grandson of the sage Merlin, and he has made a promise to Merlin that he would never let Shin participate in politics and the military, and this time he announces this agreement in public at the award ceremony. Shin then offers to teach magic to the group. If other students say these things, they would definitely be regarded as arrogant fools, but when Shin says these words, everyone would only feel it's reasonable. So Shin starts teaching the group how to better control their magic. The magicians of this world all think that spells are the most important and do not care about the use of magic. But Shin is from the earth, and his curiosity about magic has allowed him to study magic for a long time. So even if Shin uses the same magic, the effect is much stronger than others. Under Shin's tutoring, everyone's strength has improved greatly. Soon after, new weapon made by blacksmiths is also ready. It's a very thin sword with a very light blade, and the blade is replaceable so Shin doesn't have to worry about always wearing out his weapon. In addition, one thing that students have been very worried about recently is the war between kingdoms and empires. The empire sends many troops to gather at the borders of the kingdom as if to invade the kingdom. But soon the emperor of the empire finds this act very stupid. When he leaves the empire with his army, the empire is attacked. The place where Strom teleports himself to is the empire, which was once his hometown. Strom controls many monsters and synthetic demonoids as he frantically attacks the empire cities. It turns out that Strom turns Kurt into demonoid in the kingdom, which is just an experiment, and the real target is the empire. Strom creates horrific chaos and kills the emperor of the empire leaving the entire country in ruins. When the kingdom's scouting forces come to the ruins of the empire, they are surprised to see Strom and a group of synthetic demonoids. The destruction of the empire alarms the kingdom, and the Magic Academy urgently conducts special training to enhance students' sense of battle. The training is jointly organized by the Magic Academy and the Knight Academy. The Knight Academy learns combat techniques and tactics and does not teach magic, believing that magicians are weak and that many people look down on the students of the Magic Academy. Even Shin, who has defeated Demonoid, is despised by them. The content of this special training is to hunt monsters, and the cadets of the Knight Academy have a hard time dealing with ordinary boar monsters. Shin not only easily kills the boar monster, but also uses a spell to kill hordes of monsters, even destroying an entire forest. The students of the Knight Academy are all frightened and dumbfounded when they see Shin's magic for the first time. Since then, no one at the Knight Academy has dared to despise the Magic Academy. But this training session isn't enough, and the students need more training to build a team that could stand up to Strom. Since there is no one among the teachers who is stronger than Shin, Shin leads the group members in special training. After discussion, everyone decides that in addition to practicing magic, they would live together for a while, so that they could cultivate a tacit understanding, which would also be good for the subsequent battles. Eventually, they decide to stay in the domain of the Sicily family. Shin's grandparents hear about it and offer to teach them. So the next day, all the members of the research team take a carriage to the Sicily family. Halfway through, they also encounter hordes of Warcraft, but now the group is stronger than before. Without Shin's help, the team easily defeats these monsters with magic. Soon after, everyone arrives at their destination. Although Sicily's parents are aristocrats, they show great respect when they see Merlin, and they warmly host the research group. 
There are many hot springs in the domain of the Sicily family, and the group soaks in the hot springs that night to relieve the fatigue of the trip. While soaking in the hot spring, the group members chat with Shin about their experiences during this time. They feel that Shin is very friendly to both the noble prince and ordinary commoner classmates, which is a very rare virtue. Shin says very modestly that it is Grandpa Merlin who educates him well. After listening to this, Merlin is moved to tears. Soon the special training begins, and Shin's grandparents teach the team a lot of knowledge to improve their magical abilities. But Shin doesn't think that's enough, as they're about to face hordes of demonoids. Shin has to share what makes him so powerful with everyone. When students use magic, the magic is no longer controlled after it is released, which will disperse the mana and cause the power to decrease. Shin shows them that the power of the control magic is multiplied after condensing in a straight line, much to everyone's shock. The special training of the day has just ended, and the prince suddenly summons Shin back to the capital. It turns out to be the prince's fiancée and the prince's sister who want to meet him. Since the prince's sister is an admirer of Merlin, they offer to participate in special training together. Of course, they will only watch from a distance and will not participate in the training in person. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the prince also shares with Shin a little bit of love experience. He knows that Shin likes Sicily, and suggests that Shin take the initiative to confess his love. At the prince's suggestion, Shin asks Sicily out and confesses to her affectionately. Sicily also fancies Shin, and she is so happy that she bursts into tears and immediately accepts Shin's confession. At this time, the group members hiding nearby appear, they are very curious so they eavesdrop on the side and finally witness the beginning of one relationship. After Shin's successful confession, everyone continues the special training. This time Shin selects a special practice style, playing volleyball. But the balls they use are specially crafted, and they can withstand the energy of magic. The rules of practice are the same as in volleyball on earth, but players can use magic. They jump into the sky with flesh enhancements, then use various attack magic to launch volleyballs. Ordinary volleyball practice becomes very dangerous. But this method also exercises the release and control of the magic power of the group members, which is very effective. In the evening, the group members chat about light-hearted topics such as love and engagement. Since most of the members present are nobles, they have engagements very early, and the relationship between Shin and Sicily is considered slow. At this time, Shin's grandmother suddenly comes to supervise if they go to bed on time, and Sicily has to hide under Shin's quilt first. But Shin's hand accidentally touches Sicily's body making Sicily scream. Shin's behavior is discovered by his grandma and is harshly criticized. In this world, 15-year-old is considered an adult, so most people marry very early. After Sicily and Shin fall in love, the two soon go to meet Sicily's parents. They approve of Shin very much, but the aristocratic family values reputation very much, and they have a default rule that ones must be engaged before one start the relationship. Shin, who grows up in another world, understands this rule and immediately agrees to get engaged to Sicily. Apart from being in love, Shin has also made new advances in magic. He manipulates his magic to float against gravity, and with wind magic, he can fly in the sky. The people of this world simply do not understand what gravity is, so everyone is seeing floating magic for the first time, and they eagerly ask Shin to teach them this magic. In addition to flying, Shin also uses the principle of sound transmission to create simply constructed telephones that can talk remotely. Since the two phones are connected by the silk of the spider monster, the call works very well. With everything in place, Shin and the crew participate in a final practice where they will fight a high-level lion monster. If it was before, they would probably have been killed by the lion monster. But after special training, the joint magic attack of the group members directly destroys the lion monster, and there is nothing left. Later, everyone tries to fight the high-level monster alone, and they are surprised to find that they already can defeat the high-level monster alone. After the special training, Shin is about to get engaged to Sicily, and in the presence of everyone, Sicily becomes Shin's fiancé. At the same time, Strom destroys the empire, and in the process, he converts large numbers of people into synthetic demonoids. However, Strom hates the royalty and nobility of the empire because of some past events, and he successfully destroys the empire. After completing revenge, he has lost his goal. Strom has no plan for what his synthetic demonoids are going to do next, so he asks all the synthetic demonoids to do whatever they want, and the synthetic demonoids want to only destroy. They immediately think of the nearest small country and plan to go there to continue the destruction. So what happened to make Strom hate the empire so much? The story started two years ago. Strom was a duke of the empire at the time and he was a very intelligent and kind man. Unlike other nobles, they only thought about exploiting the people in their territory. Strom treated his people very well because he believed that everyone is equal. Strom had a very loving wife, who was pregnant at the time, and they were about to have a lovely child. But Strom's idea made the other nobles very angry, because the people in their territory, after hearing about Strom's kindness, moved to Strom's territory. More importantly, Strom also had the right to inherit the emperor. So another duke with the right to inherit united the other nobles, and intended to use a conspiracy to sabotage Strom's life. Soon after, Strom received news asking him to go to the capital for a meeting. 
Although Strom's wife feared that he would be attacked on the road, Strom was also a very powerful magician. He was confident that he would be able to protect himself. However, the conspiracy was not against Strom. After Strom left, some rumors began to spread in his domain. The rumor was that Strom was just a disguise for being nice to the populace and that he had been doing something bad on the sly. Many girls disappeared during this time, which was supposedly done by Strom. Later, spies sent by other nobles tricked the people saying that they had found the missing girls. And then, in the presence of many, found the girls from the Strom family's carriage. Feeling cheated, the people angrily rushed to Strom's home and set the house on fire. When Strom returned home, his wife was dead. Strom asked the angry populace which nobleman would have the family emblem printed on his carriage when he did something horrible. Only then did the people realize their mistake. The stupidity of the people and the insidious nature of his competitors made him collapse. And Strom, who was already a powerful magician, instantly went crazy and eventually became a demonoid. The duke who framed him later became emperor of the empire. So Strom vowed to destroy the empire at any cost. Now his goal has been accomplished. On the other hand, the king of the kingdom officially announces that the prince will become the crown prince on this day, and the prince will also announce that Shin's research group will fight Demonoid at the same day. But the prince asks Shin to rename the group since the research team doesn't sound good enough. Shin names the group the Ultimate Magicians, and then they head to a small country invaded by Demonoids to start their first war. This small country is an ally of the kingdom, so Shin and his companions use flying spells to rush to support as soon as possible. But the small country cannot resist the powerful synthetic demonoids, and they have already invaded the city of the small country. By the time Shin arrives, it is in ruins. Enraged, Shin and his companions set out to kill the synthetic demonoids to save the local population. Although these synthetic demonoids are powerful, they are not real demonoids, at most they are the same as the combat power of high-level monsters. However, demonoids are intelligent and have the combat experience that higher-level monsters do not have. They will be more difficult to deal with. The ultimate magicians split into teams of two and set out to eliminate the synthetic demonoids. At this point, the synthetic demonoids expose their weakness. They are so arrogant that they underestimate the members of the ultimate magicians, and are killed by magic by the time they see the real strength of their opponents. The exception is Sicily, who does not go into battle but heals the wounded populace with healing magic that she is better at. However, Shin does not need a partner to defeat a large number of demonoids, and with their efforts, most of the demonoids are quickly eliminated. Only the prince and his partner meet a stronger demonoid who snatches a wand enchanted with a magic shield that can resist magic. But Demonoid doesn't know that using the wand requires concentration, and the prince and his partner begin to attack from different directions. Distracted by the need to fend off attacks from different directions, the Demonoid is finally killed by the prince from behind. Seeing that most of the synthetic Demonoid are dead, Strom's military master, who is also the leader of the synthetic Demonoid, decides to retreat, and he asks Strom's lover Miria to cover the remaining Demonoids to retreat. Unlike other synthetic demonoids, Miria has undergone special enhancements from Strom, and her strength is as good as Strom's. After Miria joins the fray, the rest of the ultimate magicians feel a lot of pressure. When facing Miria, it is difficult for them to create an effective attack, and they can only adopt a defensive strategy. But even so, they are defeated due to their lack of combat experience. At this time, Shin is destroying the fleeing demonoids, and after discovering Miria's magic, he immediately flies to the battlefield. Several of his companions have been defeated by Miria, and Shin understands that he needs to fight as hard as he can by seeing this situation. Shin tells his companions to run away and let him duel Miria, but the companions do not abandon Shin, and together they launch magic to attack Miria. Knowing that she could not defeat everyone, Miria suddenly flees after launching a large explosion. The ultimate magicians eventually win their first battle. After the synthetic demonoids return to the ruins of the empire, Strom looks at his defeated men and finally finds a new target. He wants to defeat Shin and his ultimate magicians. In a church in the city, many injured people are treated inside. One man is so badly wounded that Sicily can't cure him no matter how hard she tries. Sicily wants to take off her uniform for the wounded because the uniform enchants healing magic. But Shin tells her that this enchantment can only heal minor injuries. Soon, Shin uses modern medical knowledge combined with healing magic to successfully heal the wounded man. Sicily instantly feels guilty and inferior, but Shin encourages her to recall what she has done for these people. It is then that Sicily realizes that many people who have been cured by her are gathering to thank her. Sicily instantly feels much more better. After the war, the king of a small kingdom shows appreciation to the ultimate magicians. The prince offers to create an anti-demonoid coalition next, and he will invite more countries to participate. Shin concludes by finding that if they have arrived on the battlefield earlier, the casualties would be fewer. But Shin's portal magic only leads to where he's been before and Shin decides to travel the world with the ultimate magician's companions, who use flying magic to take off from the kingdom and fly together into a future full of opportunities and challenges. This is the end of the first season of Wise Man's Grandchild. The villain of this work is impressive. Strom is not a bad guy at the beginning. He used to be a good person, but because of his tragedy, he becomes what he is later, which is very sad. 
But no matter how tragic Strom's past was, it doesn't justify his destruction of a nation. I believe the ultimate magicians will continue to grow until they can beat all demonoids. Shin will also continue to use the scientific knowledge of the earth to win more respect and love in another world. What do you think? Thank you for watching. If you like this story as much as I do, remember to like this video so that more people can watch it. If you don't want to miss out on more exciting anime recaps, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.